seems like we're getting more and more out of Wayland every day, as it's clearly winning the Linux desktop, and we're slowly seeing the transition to Wayland-only sessions. So we're going to get into some of the latest in Wayland and some updates that we've received this week, as it's all exciting to see what the future of Wayland on the Linux desktop will look like. First off, Fedora announces Wayland only GNOME, which is not new as it was a proposed change. The idea here is to remove the GNOME X11 packages from the Fedora repositories. All the users of the GNOME X11 session will be migrated to the GNOME Wayland session. And after that announcement was made, we've now seen an acceptance as the change called Wayland only GNOME has been officially closed and accepted two days ago by the Fedora team. What will this do? It will remove the X11 packages from the Fedora repositories. All users of the X11 sessions will be migrated over to the Wayland session like we read before. What does this mean? Well, starting with Fedora 43, we'll now see GNOME officially shipping as Wayland only and dropping its native X11 support. This move clearly aligns with GNOME's plan to remove X11 features in future releases, including GNOME 49 and 50. While the GDM Display Manager may still support X11 sessions for GNOME, GNOME desktops, which we're also going to be talking about a little bit later, as we have news on that as well, Fedora's GNOME now will solely rely on Wayland. Don't worry if you still are using X11 applications, as X Wayland will still be included to run those legacy programs within the Wayland session, but this is big news for Fedora and Wayland. More and more every day we're seeing different distributions and projects drop X11 support, with even NVIDIA highly focused on getting Wayland working with their graphics drivers. It's quite interesting to see all this change in dev, as it can also cause a lot of issues trying to migrate people over that are running legacy apps, especially those running on X11 still. I see X Wayland being shipped and included for the foreseeable future. Less and less projects are using the Xorg server. And now moving on, so I want to discuss Fedora a little bit more, but before we do, take a moment and subscribe below. You wouldn't want to miss another video, YouTube can get finicky. Also, smash that like button for me. Let's talk Fedora and the latest additions. KD Plasma has been now offered by Fedora as an official workstation edition. No longer is it just a spin, but why this is important is because we're seeing major upgrades in KD Plasma when it comes to Wayland as well. That's right, a first of its kind. After the Wayland HDR protocol dropped, KD went hard at work, and now we're seeing a new HDR calibration wizard for Plasma. So Plasma 6.4 is going to see an upgrade to Wayland after its release of the HDR protocol. And its official addition now on Fedora is going to receive an HDR calibration wizard for Wayland variants that will help us get more accurate colors on our HDR compatible displays. So here is sort of what things look like when it comes to the calibration manager. Again, notable new features in Plasma 6.4, we've added an HDR calibration wizard. We can see here the picture display, the color display, and then adjustment for brightness below. Basically this allows you to adjust the brightness as you'd be using it on your monitor. As long as the HDR image here on the left and the gradients are smooth on the right, that's kind of the sweet spot for this calibration wizard. This is all after a recent drop of the HDR Wayland protocol. KWIN now allows you to enable extended dynamic range on displays that support it, which makes them simulate HDR by strategically changing the backlight's brightness. That's also another new feature and also exciting. KWIN now allows you to limit the maximum color depth on screens that support this feature, and you can now allow X Wayland using apps to control the keyboard and pointer which is another big deal for Wayland and HDR displays. That's why I'm excited to see this new HDR calibration tool getting implemented. There's also the peak luminance of a display, which displays often report wrong. So you'll get a square covering 10% of the display area with 10,000 lumens, which the monitor limits to maximum to actually show. And the plasma logo at the luminance level configured by the user which the brightness level is configured so that you can just barely see the plasma logo anymore, then we've roughly reached the maximum brightness level. Another part of that calibrating that's now being introduced to Fedora, this is a big step in the right direction when it comes to HDR on Linux while using Wayland. Both Fedora and KDE are becoming the flagships for a better display experience on Linux 
I'm sure we're going to be seeing more and more distributions and desktop environments following this path as Wayland continues becoming better and better. Which leads to another big announcement, this time by GNOME. GNOME's GDM, also known as GNOME Display Manager, is a login screen and session manager used by the GNOME desktop environment on Linux systems. What's happening here? Well, GNOME's latest GDM version will disable X11 sessions by default as a plan to phase out X11 or Xorg support completely. And we could see this being dropped as early as GNOME 49, which is actually ahead of the predicted GNOME 50 timeline schedule. They claim this is the first step towards deprecating the X11 session. X11 has been receiving less and less testing. We have been defaulting to the Wayland session since 2016, and it's about time we disable and eventually drop the X11 session completely. That's a big move on GNOME's part. Clearly, they're testing this first with their login screen and session manager. Of course, there are other alternatives that you can use when it comes to a login screen and session manager, but this is a big one as a lot of big distributions use GNOME by default, including GDM. For example, Ubuntu, which I would believe they're gonna still try to maintain their own X11 or Xorg support, as they probably have many, many users who are still wanting to use that support. And we can see talks about that as well. It was mentioned that this will disable all X11 sessions, so people that have configured other environment but use GDM still, would be affected. Maybe we should go with the GNOME session merge request that removes the targets instead. Mint and XFCE both default to LightDM. Not sure what Cinnamon or Linux Mint does. However, I don't think anyone else uses GDM by default and what would break would be custom user setups, which hopefully they know how to port over or add xorg enable equal true to the config file. We would mention this in the announcement of the GDM news. And it's official as discussed with Adrian yesterday, this is indeed the plan. We can go ahead and switch defaults to false to start testing things. The X11 session launch functionality is likely to make a comeback before 49.rc. And if it does not end up being the case, we will reevaluate and revert the defaults back to true. So GNOME is going forward with trying to start removing Xorg and X11 and in support of using Wayland sessions entirely. Another big deal for Wayland and how it's winning Linux. We're gonna keep track of some of these developments. It is a big deal for GNOME to be doing this, especially with KD making advancements with the HDR calibration wizard. I'm wondering when GNOME is gonna come up with their own. They're a little behind on this, although they, they have officially enabled HDR protocol support through Wayland on GNOME. As of yet, I don't believe GNOME has a built-in HDR calibration wizard for Wayland sessions quite yet, even though that they've introduced the experimental support for this, which is something I think they need to focus on. KDE is ahead of the game when it comes to HDR on Linux. But let's forget about HDR for a second. Wayland support for the NVIDIA proprietary 565 driver. We have a post here from NVIDIA developers in which NVIDIA came out and said what driver limitations they had with Wayland as a version 565. I want to talk about this one because we have an update to some of the lack of feature parity between X11 and Wayland in a new post. But anyways, back here, they mentioned some things that they weren't planning to support at all, including stereo rendering, implicit SCLI mosaic, and full display configuration via the NVIDIA settings. They claim there are some workarounds via Vulkan for these things, but they require application modifications. And they announced upcoming improvements, including multi-monitor VRR support, better handling of display mucks on desktops, and more display pipeline features, including warp, blend, pixel shift, etc. The bottom line here was that Wayland support is improving on NVIDIA, and the developers of the proprietary drivers have their eye on Wayland. It's becoming more and more important, and they're finally starting to acknowledge this as they're making future developments with Wayland in mind. And here's the latest Wayland support for 575 series, which is an updated version from the one that we saw in November. So again, they speak about protocol or compositor limitations. They include the stereo rendering using GLX and EGL or Vulkan. Implicit SLI mosaic, as mentioned before, NVIDIA settings will not offer the same level of configuration. Currently, there are no cross compositor method for configuration that would allow NVIDIA settings to manage displays on Wayland as it does on X11, which is a big deal. They're basically stating this to see what Wayland can do about this. 
as currently there are just missing parity features between the two. While it seems like they're sort of complaining about this, while it does open up development for NVIDIA actually to contribute to Wayland. They now are telling us that the following features will be available through Vulkan Direct to display, which includes the stereo rendering, Vulkan Explicit SLI, swap groups, and frame lock and gen lock, which is fantastic. This was mentioned in the previous post, and we're finally seeing paths forward through NVIDIA for graphical support on Wayland, whether or not it's through the Wayland protocol and display server, we're seeing updates from the driver's side, which is important. But what's probably the most interesting is features that are planned for future releases. These are the features that are in progress or what we plan to implement in the future as the ecosystem evolves to support them. They want to set the NVIDIA DRM mode set equal to one as a parameter set by default, which this kernel parameter enables NVIDIA DRM to use kernel mode setting KMS support and is critical for modern Linux graphical stacks, especially under Wayland. And it gives us two main things, which is early boot graphics and modern display features. So it's important to get that parameter set. We also have display multiplexers. Muxes are typically used in laptops with both integrated and discrete GPUs to provide a direct connection between the discrete GPU and the built-in display internal MUX or an external display external MUX on X11. The display MUX can be automatically switched when full screen applications is running on discrete GPU. Enabling enhanced display features and improved performance, but no Wayland compositors currently support this functionality. Again, something that's missing, but this is a signal to Wayland for functionality support that would help NVIDIA also do more development and improve Wayland as well. So it's nice to see this list on what features are planned for future releases. And advanced display pipeline features, including warp and blend pixel shift and the color encoding color range plane properties. They're looking to add more of those properties in. Finally, the last three, NVIDIA DRM presentation timing information, VDPAU support for Wayland, and VGPU support on Wayland. So that's really the state of the proprietary NVIDIA drivers, specifically with the 575 release series, and what future plans and lacking support there is on NVIDIA with Wayland, but we're seeing progress. That's the important part here. We're seeing great progress with Wayland as it's taking over Linux. We've gone through many instances today, including how Fedora 43 plans on shipping with GNOME as Wayland only, getting better HDR support natively on Plasma and Wayland, using the new HDR calibration wizard, how GNOME plans on deprecating X11 sessions, and finally how NVIDIA is planning out their future releases of their drivers with Wayland in mind. What other things have you seen that are exciting in the Linux desktop or display protocol space. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe below. Also smash that like button on the way back up. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.